thank my colleague from uh, North Dakota. Majority Whip. For his great leadership on this issue. Um, and all who are here, uh, Senator Roberts, the uh, longtime chairman of the uh, Senate Ag Committee. Before that, the House Ag Committee was very instrumental in us getting a farm bill uh, in late 2018, a farm bill which provides a safety net and provides some, a little bit of stability in agriculture, which, as he pointed out, has been just in the tank literally since 2013. Our uh, producers, farmers and ranchers across the country and in South Dakota have uh, been operating with negative cash flows, eating into their equity, trying to keep their operations viable. And that was before COVID-19. Now we've got COVID-19. And we saw the bottom fall out of the cattle market in this country. And I don't have to tell you, Mr. President, that agriculture is important. It's the lifeblood of our economy in South Dakota. It's our number one industry. But it's felt, that ripple effect is felt all across the country. And it is our food supply. Senator Hoven talked earlier today about the importance of ensuring that we have maintained a safe, quality, predictable and affordable food supply for people in this country, particularly when people are concerned in a time of crisis. We need to maintain that food supply. And so I want to thank him and all of our colleagues here from farm country for working together to provide some assistance in this particular bill. Uh, that would uh, hopefully give some relief to those who are out there day in and day out grinding it out to make sure that we have the food and fiber to keep this country growing forward and frankly for that matter to feed the world. But unfortunately again, Senate Democrats don't seem to be willing to do that. I was encouraged to hear just a little bit ago, of course I, my uh, friend from West Virginia who is a, um, an advocate for agriculture, we also had a, the ranking member of the Ag Committee uh, down here earlier saying she's willing to work with us, but unfortunately we don't have time to waste. We just don't have time to waste. This isn't something that can be put off to another day. We have producers that if we don't do something, we're going to leave them behind, and we need our Democrat colleagues to step up and help get this bill passed. As Senator Hovind mentioned, the bill would provide $30 billion to replenish the Commodity Credit Corporation and has an increase, an additional $20 billion temporary increase in CCC funding to address impacts from the outbreak of COVID. This funding would allow the Department of Agriculture to quickly get assistance to farmers and ranchers in South Dakota and throughout the nation who are facing, as I said, market volatility and declining pricing in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic. Farmers and ranchers, I might add, Mr. President, as I already mentioned, who were already dealing with a weak ag economy well before this emergency hit. I spoke with the Secretary of Agriculture a couple of days ago and uh, convey to him just the incredible amount of hardship and economic pain that's being created across uh, the farm belt these days, particularly with our cattle ranchers and the, the pain that they're feeling as a result of these declining prices and what it might mean to their operations. So I would simply say in supporting all of my colleagues and what they've said today, uh, Mr. President, is we don't know the full impact of this outbreak across ag agricultural industry, but we do know this. Our producers are doing their part to keep the grocery shelves stocked and food on our tables. And we need to do our part and provide the resources necessary to support them, which is why it is so important for many of the reasons we talked about earlier today to get on this legislation, get it moving. The national economy is melting down. And uh, of course, as I said, the economy out in farm country was, is ha happening well before the national economy. But if we don't do something to stop the bleeding and do it soon, there's going to be a whole world of hurt. Let's get this bill across the finish line. We need help from our Democrat colleagues to do that. I yield the time.